Friday, July 13th. Friday the 13th, 2012. Welcome Are you to the show. Scared? I'm Michael Eckford. And I'm Fiona Forbes. You're Triskaidekaphobic. I'm not Triskaidekaphobic because it's sunny and it's Friday, and the 13th part couldn't care less. Good. <laughs> the 13th yeah, I just, part. It's sunny. Kiss my honey. It's Friday. Uh, it is going to be a beautiful weekend uh, this weekend. Very excited for that. I'm going away for the weekend. Where are with, you going? Uh, I'm just going up to my parents' place on the Sunshine Coast. But what's special about this weekend is we're taking some friends who have two small kids. They're from Australia. And we wanted to give them sort of the West Coast experience because when they come from Sydney, Australia, they land in Vancouver and they don't really feel the West Coast the right. way I imagine it. So we're taking them up into the country. The kids have never seen an animal uh, that's sort of a, a you know, a, a Canadian animal. Indigenous. The only one they've ever seen was a deer dead on the side of the road. They've oh, only seen you gotta show them beautiful British Columbia. So we're gonna show them beautiful BC, chickens, llamas, bears, deers, you name it, whatever's there, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to that. That is uh, a spectacular weekend yeah, idea. it's gonna be good. What are you doing? I don't know yet. It's the weekend, and it's Friday, and it's sunny, and I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. The world stretches before Actually, um, yeah, just getting together with friends and doing the patio thing and you know, maybe there'll be some beverages involved that wow. might be chilled. I like how uh, I like how apathetic but enthusiastic it's you are. It's time to chill. There's a nice little. Mix I know, uh, and it's been quite hot. And there are reports streaming <laughs> Thank in. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a weathercaster now. Uh, that uh, the new Canadian 50 and $100 bills are melting I've at high this. temperatures. Now, the Whoa. Bank of Canada is saying that it's not possible that the 50 and $100 wow. bills are indestructible. They look like old apple skins. Yeah. Um, this was a picture uploaded on Facebook. I have not confirmed uh, its authenticity <laughs> in any all. way, shape, or form. But it's funny because the Bank of Canada is denying that they can be destructed, which is making a lot of people, I think, trying to try to yeah. burn their 50 and $100 bills. Just so you know, in case you try and burn them, a lot of people saying they're melting on dashboards. Why you would leave cash on your dashboard is another question. Because you're but so wealthy. You, you just, just leave make your it 50s. Rain. You just make it rain on your own dashboard But the Bank of Canada wants to be clear that the only way that you can be reimbursed uh, if one of your 50 or $100 bills melts accidentally or on purpose is if you still have the full serial number. So make sure you write that down make sure. before you burn it. Nice. Uh, remember when when we first got the tunies, yeah, and you could pop the middle out by bouncing it really hard on the ground. Yeah, do you remember that? And the we Bank used of to Canada, do that here on the, the show. Bank of Canada it. did the same thing. They denied that it could happen, and everybody spent. I saw so many people taking tunies and, and just, just whipping them at and the floor. And also the new tunies. And I'm not sure if it's the loonies. I love that in Canada it's tunies and loonies, eh? Those are our monies, guy. Welcome to Canada. Uh, that they won't. The parking meters won't accept the new tunies. It actually happened to me the other day. How do you get your? Well, then swap. you have to swap your new tunies for an old toonie and then you end up having a toonie swap meet on the side of the road with someone that you've never met before and you bond Anywho, over Anywho, that is money. the most Canadian conversation we've ever had. Uh, summer, you know, is officially here when Big Brother starts on television and I will, you know what, this is yeah, the lowest of the low yeah. as far you as love this show. reality I television. It. I don't know why I watch it, you guys. I don't know. Are you know. watching Glass House or whatever the spin? Nah, that's not Big Bro. This, is, awesome right here. this is, is from is previous back. seasons. They're oh, bringing back four favorite this characters season. this year for those of you who are like me um i watch it i'm not gonna lie there aren't many who watches out of all the stuff whenever on our show, people watch big brother they're obsessed like me right no there's no, one no other one? person lola oh Thank lola, you very lola much. watches it there's always one person i can talk to about it here's a show that everybody absolutely agrees on and it launches again it's fifth season uh on sunday Breaking Bad. This is my favorite show. Oh. And Mike, you're still two yeah, seasons. No, 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 don't show it. No, ah. you have to. We have to show no, it. No, no, um, it's not giving anything away. But I have to say, this is one of the best shows on television, again. The End. If you haven't watched it, catch up on all five seasons. It is amazing. The acting, the storyline. There's nothing else like it. Mike, you're not giving anything away. He's a drug dealer. He makes meth. The End.
sell it. The meth is blue. No, I, I got to the blue meth part. See, the problem is I'm still only halfway through the second season. So I've got a lot of catching but up I'm to do. I'm blanking on the, the name of the lead actor, but he's fantastic. Brian Cranston. And so is everybody else on this show. Brian Cranston. He was on Letterman the other night. And he told the and funniest he's such story. such a normal guy. He told the funniest story about someone who came up to him with a picture of the tumor that they had, had removed and had him sign it. Why? Because, well, he's become kind of an icon. Yeah, that's true. Uh, for people that, are, yeah. uh, that have cancer, right? Because his character so has terminal cancer. So you're terminally ill. What you can take away from Breaking Bad is just make meth and it will be all okay. How wrong is it that that blue meth looks really good? What are you talking about? Well, it looks blue and fancy. We're going to take a break.